paralysed and without his voice. After months of physiotherapy and speech therapy, he was introduced to clay modelling at a rehab centre and now makes sculptures for a living at home in Stafford. Before, I couldn't do uh, none of, of the uh, clay work. I was stuck in a uh, rehab centre and then I found that uh, I can do this uh, sculpture or what have you. And uh, I went to uh, college and I now teach at college. A stroke is basically a brain attack. The blood supply to the brain is cut off and brain cells are damaged or die. A third of victims make a significant recovery in the first month, but for most they're left with long-term problems that can take years to recover. Dennis was a keen runner before he had two strokes. He found it difficult to come to terms with his loss of mobility, so had to look for alternative hobbies. There is there's always something inside you that, that could say that you you got some skill somewhere, and obviously arts come out in, in me. Both Dennis's paintings and Steve's sculptures are part of an art exhibition at Bromsgrove Life After Stroke Centre. It's the only purpose-built centre for stroke victims in the country. I think that's the most magnificent thing that happens. At the, the, as a result of a person's recovery, they are a shining example for others of what is possible. Tony decided to volunteer here after having three strokes. He's rarely seen without his camera and is also exhibiting his photographs here, some of which central viewers may recognise from our weather reports. More or less every one of these, except one, has, has been on central news. And now I'm hopefully selling them to raise money for the stroke organisation. A stroke can be a life-changing and debilitating experience, but these three men have proved that you can move on from it and find new talents you didn't know you had. Jane Hesketh, ITV News. Football and in today's lunchtime kickoff, a late goal for Leicester saw them back.